In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a contact form using Contact Form 7 plugin. This plugin is very easy to use and I will show you how to customize the form and to create your own form. So here we are in a WordPress dashboard. The first thing we have to do is to install the Contact Form 7 plugin. So we hover over plugins and then click add new. In the search bar, we search for contact form 7. That's it right here. So we click install now and then activate. As the contact 7 is installed, it added a menu item called contact on the left. We hover over contact and then click add new. You see, it's a very simple form and it's actually what a regular contact form looks like in most websites. The first step we have to do is to fill the title of the contact form. For example, we're gonna type contact us for this form. We type contact us and then click save. The first field is your name. The second is your email. The third is the subject and the fourth is the message. So this form is asking for name, email, subject and message as most contact form in websites ask for. So what I'm going to do is to show you how to integrate that into a page. What you want to do is to copy the short code. So you highlight it and copy it. So we head over to pages and click add new. We will call this page contact us and then paste the short code right into the page and then we click publish. So if we go to view this page by clicking the view link, we will see a contact form in a contact us page. See, it's that easy if you want to use this generic contact form. If we go back to the contact form by hover over contact and contact forms and click edit on the contact us, the form is that we just made. We're going to look at some of the additional settings in regard of this form. So in the form tab, we have the basics form structure and you can add other variables. We will get back to that very soon. If you click in the mail tab, we have the settings where the email was sent. The first field is to where the email is sent to when the form is submitted. You can enter multiple emails by writing a comma space and then you write your other email or like multiple emails it's up to you in the form field is where the form is coming from it's include your name and email or domain name the uh, subject field is the subject of the form the additional header it's uh, the email they, they entered and the body it's include your name email subject and body you can customize the message body but we'll get back to it soon again so if you go now to the messages tab the uh, this messages tab it's a uh, success and errors messages that shows during the form fill up and submitted so you can change messages like the first one thank you for your message it has been sent you can say like thank you for your message i appreciate your time or your concern so it's up to you but i would like to stick with the default as is much like uh, just it's just good okay so if you go back to additional settings in the tab things it's like you can add a customization uh, code snippet like javascript code like you can be alert when uh, the form has been submitted or sent or other details that you can go through click on the addition settings here 
is not that hot back to the form tab to add a new field so we come here we want to add a field I will stick with a radio button as it's a bit like complex to do it radio button prefer to go with a, a p tag with it to it work better with a p tag than label so follow along with me so you put like p tag open and close your p tag is so important and like the question is going to be did you enjoy watching this video and click enter we click a tab and we put our cursor here and then we click on the radio button just down up here in the name this is the name of the radio button and the option you can put yes and no it's up to you this is the options you have and you can put like a label face a checkup last wrap each uh, each item with a label item id attribute and class attribute this is a bit uh, css it needs like a css experience but we don't need it in this time so after we put the options yes and no we click insert tag and then after we insert it here let's go look at our contact form so we go down here or up there it doesn't matter we click on save and then we go back to contact us page and we click on refresh as you can see down here did you enjoy watching this video it's yes and no it's uh, by default yes because as you can see in the form the default is number one but if you want to keep the put it no at the beginning you can go delete this one and put two and save your field save the contact form go back to the page and refresh your page and by default it goes to no but I would prefer to keep it yes as I hope you enjoy this video and save so now how we can integrate this radio button into the mail so we go to the mail tab here we go down to the message body as you can see up here it's been injected a new radio radio button here this is the code that we're going to use to to integrate it in the message let's say we want to put down here this is a static message as as the one we put like in the form did you enjoy watching this video we go enter down here we go up here we highlight it copy it and then we go down here and paste it oh oops and click save so this is how you customize your mail tab and the form tab you just inject the radio button checkbox submit numbers url email text a new text a text area it's all up to you Ready? this is all for this video if you have any question write it in the comment below and i will get back to you asap don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more it videos bye for now